Hey guys, it's Sonia and welcome back to my channel. So, oh, that sounded horrible. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm like trying to get myself situated. So, today's video is basically like, it's just going to be like a multiple part video. Um, so today is Sunday, June. June 30th. And tomorrow is July 1st. Yay. The summer is like going by so slow. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Like, the summer is going by super, 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 super slow. Um, so, last week I went to church camp. I went to La Cup Lodge in Tra Travelers West, South Carolina. As you can see, Look Up Lodge. I love this. Like, this is literally, like, my favorite sweatshirt. Like, whenever I get, like, sweatshirts or, like, t-shirts or long sleeve shirts, I always get them in, like, a couple sizes bigger, like, or a size big or a couple sizes big because I just love to wear, like, big stuff, especially when it's, like, super, like, comfortable and soft and always wear my shorts and so people are always like, are you wearing pants underneath that shirt? I'm like, no, I decided to walk out of my house without any pants on today. So, I got a green sweatshirt last year from the same camp, but I got like in a small, and then this summer I was like, I'm just going to get a large. So it's like, it's so nice, it's so comfortable, I'm just like, yeah, I love it. <laughs> um, so, tomorrow is going to be like a really big day for me. I'm having ankle surgery, and this video is basically going to be about my ankle surgery. So... A couple years ago, my sophomore year of high school, I started having pain and problems with my ankle, and it was like swollen and everything, and it was just like kind of weird, because I'm like, I haven't really been doing anything in a couple of months, like, what's, what's going on? So summer started, and I went to my doctor, my, um, sports medicine injury whatever doctor <clears throat> and he suggested you know like we did x-ray and he was like okay nothing's broken I'm like I know nothing's broken and so he was like all right let's just because he could tell like that something was like swollen or whatever and he was like all right let's just do physical therapy so I had to do physical therapy and it was really it was fun somewhat because like, I was doing stuff and I was like also like challenging myself. Um, but yeah, I did physical therapy and my physical therapist was like, all right, we're gonna put you on crutches, you know, to see like if that swelling's gonna go down. So I was on crutches for a couple of weeks and then we were like, all right, let's just go get a boot. So we went back to my same doctor but we went to like this other guy at the same office place and he got me a boot and me and this boot became best friends and I was still going to PT um, for a couple of months I, was, I went to PT I swear I think it was like probably like four or five months I started PT in July and I ended in November so like four months three four months whatever so then I stopped going to PT, and my PT, he was like, oh, maybe you just have a torn ligament, and then he was like, alright, you're doing all this stuff, I don't think you have a torn ligament, and I'm like, alright, well, something's wrong. So then I went back to my same doctor, and we did an MRI, and he really couldn't find, like, I guess, like, we just did, like, a normal MRI, and, like, he really couldn't, like, find much of anything that was wrong which was weird and so <clears throat> by this time like I'm already halfway through my junior year and I started back playing soccer and for high school and I ended up in a boot in the middle of the season for a week and then at the end of the season I got right back in that boot after I got hurt in one of my games and my doctor was like alright you're going back in your boot for about a couple for like two weeks so I was in the boot for two weeks and 
during that time, like, it was just kind of aggravating that, like, I kept having to go back into the boot, but no one could actually tell me what was, like, seriously, like, what was actually wrong with my ankle, and it was just really aggravating. And so I talked to my um, athletic trainer at my high school, and she got in, so she basically gave me a specialist, an ankle, foot and ankle specialist, a uh, doctor number uh, for my dad to call. So we called him, and May going into my senior, so it was May, it was into my junior year, and it was in May, and I went to him, and I told him what was up, and I was still in my boot, and he was like, all right, you're going to stay in your boot. Like, you're keeping that boot on. And he looked at my old MRI from, a couple mo from like, months prior, and he was like, did your doctor ever tell you that you had cysts in your ankle and all this stuff? And I was like, no. And he was like, all right, well, you do. We're going to order you another MRI with and without contrast. So the with and without contrast is, like, whenever they do with contrast, they put, like, they in like they inject, like, this dye into your body so then stuff can, like, show up clear and stuff like that. So it's really cool. So we did that, and I went back to him, and he was like, yeah, you have a couple of cysts, and you also have a torn ligament. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I had to keep my boot on. So I had that boot on for, like, the whole summer, basically. Uh, senior summer, had that boot on. And we basically was like, all right, there's two things we can do. Cortisone injection or surgery. He was like, since you're young, let's do the cortisone injection first. See if that relieves pain and will help. I did that in July, and it did not help at, at all. I, it did not help. And so we were, like, changing my insurance and all this stuff, and it was just so crazy. And he was like, yeah, you got to have surgery on it. So... Senior soccer season was a struggle. I got so many injuries, it was ridiculous. I'm like going out with a bang. And last month, which was May, I went to him again and he was like, we're gonna get you another MRI to make sure nothing has gotten worse. You know, just make sure like nothing's worse and we're still looking at what we're looking at. So I was like, all right, cool. Did that, did my MRI, and a couple weeks, couple days later, I went to him again <laughs> to discuss what he saw in the MRI. So, I have, like, some type of, like, lateral syndrome, whatever, where, like, my bones, it's really hard to explain, like, I'm still confused on it, it's where, like, my bones, like, go overlap each other whenever I walk or run and stuff like that, and there's so much, like, cartilage, I don't even know what it, what's wrong, but something of... <laughs> It affects me whenever I run, and especially when I walk. And I have to get these inserts like molded to my feet, and I have to wear it in all of my shoes because I have super. My feet are super flat. Like this, my feet are flat like paper, like flat. <laughs> <coughs> and I, there's like the surgery that they're gonna do on me to basically like fix the problem and to like clear out the stuff or whatever and he was like the recovery is like six weeks and for most of that it's gonna be like non-weight bearing so you're gonna be on crutches and I'm like ah oh my gosh like one thing like I feel like every child or like teenager goes through is that they're always like oh like I wonder what it's like to be on crutches like oh I want to be on crutches and then like you have to be on crutches and you're like oh my gosh I hate it <laughs> Like, it's honestly, like, the one thing with crutches is that, like, it's very exhausting. It is super, super, super exhausting. Like, it just, it takes so much out of you. Like, I remember having, when I was on crutches for, like, two weeks before I got my boot, and I just remember, like, going around, like, the my high school, like, with my crutches, and I'm like, <gasps> like, I had, like, you literally, like, when you're, like, having to use your crutches, and you're, like, making, like, when you have to, like, walk a long distance, like, you have to, like, stop every so feet, like, to catch your breath and, like, take a break, and, like, literally, because, like, you're, like, you're using your arms, and you're pushing, like, all your weight onto your arms and everything, 
to like, oh, your arms become super tired and it's, it's crazy. But I know that like whenever I get my crutches and I go to church, literally everyone in the youth is going to be like, Sonia, can I use your crutches? Can I use your crutches? And be like, yeah, sure, you can use my crutches. But <laughs> that's that. And yeah, so tomorrow morning I'm having my surgery and I have to wake up at like 6 something, probably like 6.50. Because I have to be to the hospital by 7.30 because I think they're going to start surgery to like take me in at 8.20. So I probably have to wake up at like 6.50 and leave my house at like 7.15. And one thing is like the lady was like, yeah, don't wear your contacts. And so I'm like, oh my gosh. So I can't wear my contacts tomorrow, which sucks. Like I can't wear them before surgery, which kind of sucks. But I definitely will probably put them on after surgery. <laughs> Like, even though, like, I'm so like, drugged up and lazy, I'm, like, I'm putting my contacts in. Because I hate going out in public or whatever and not having my contacts because I can't see, like, at all without them, like, really. Especially with my glasses, like, I really can't see, like, everything super blurry, and so it's, it's really aggravating. Usually, like, whenever I know, like, some days I'm, like, I'm not putting my contacts in because then I'm, like, I'm just going to sleep all day without my contacts in. Like... Whenever I don't put my contacts in, it's easier for me to, like, fall asleep and stay asleep. So, before I left for camp, I cleaned up my room really good, basically, well, to my standard. Because I was like, I know that I'm going to have, like, two days of rest time and then surgery and then people are going to be coming over, like, to check up on me and everything. So, I cleaned my room and then I had to wash clothes. And so now I have like a basket that's overflowing with clothes that I have to put up in my room, which is gonna be like a freaking struggle because one, I don't have that many hangers, and two, I don't have that much space in my closet. So I wanna be like shoving a lot of stuff like in my drawers. And then I have like this gray like bin thing that I got from Walmart a couple years ago that I put like my bedding stuff in. So like I know like my beach towels, like I'm gonna be putting a lot of stuff in there just to like take up like some space so it's like it's really cool because like I went to church and we have a chiropractor at our church and like I keep him like informed on my injuries <laughs> and like it was just so cool like I was like oh like I was talking to people and I was like yeah like I'm having surgery tomorrow and they're like well if you need anything like tell like text me and I can like get it for you and I'm like oh okay but like I don't like asking people, like, especially like that. I'm like, oh, like, can you give me this? <laughs> like, I don't want it. No, I'd rather do that to my friends. <laughs> but, yeah, so, I'm, like, I'm, like, nervous about surgery, but, like, I'm also, like, really excited about it because I get to decorate my crutches. <laughs> so, last night, when I was, like, I woke up from, like, an hour nap or whatever in the middle of the night. And I started, like, looking at, like, ways, like, I can, like, decorate my crutches. Because I like to decorate everything. So, I was, like, trying to look for a way, like, to decorate my crutches. So, like, I'm still going to be looking, like, I don't know if I'm going to, like, paint my crutches, put duct tape on my crutches. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. So, right now, what I'm going to do after I get done is I'm going to put my clothes up and chill a little bit because I have church at, like, 6. Yeah, I have church at 6, and it's testimony night, so everyone's going to basically, like, be giving out, like, giving their testimonies, so I'll probably go. Yeah, so I actually have to, well, I kind of got to go now, because, yeah, so the next week we have VBS, and VBS setup starts tomorrow, but I won't, like, be there, like, for the first couple of days, like, to help, like, set up with my site that I'm a part of, and so the lady, like, that's in charge of the site, I was, like, I told her that I can do the posters, like, to put the Bible verse in the poster and stuff like that, so I saw her today at church, and she was like, because, like, she doesn't live too far from me, she's like, yeah, you live, like, right across, like, right, right around the corner from each other, so she's gonna, like, purchase the stuff for the posters and everything, and then she's gonna bring them to me tonight at church, and then I'm gonna, like, work on them, like, while I'm just, like, chilling in bed and everything over the next couple of days and she was like yeah so they're having a meeting on Wednesday at like 6 30 so I told her that I will try to be there she's like if you can't be there she's like it's fine it's okay so yeah and we have we start so with my church is up 
we actually start VBS on Sunday, and I think we go from the 7th through the 11th, and we do, like, evening VBS, so, like, they come to, like, when it's dinner time, so it's really fun. I actually like evening VBS better than, like, morning, like, VBS, because then, like, if you, like, want to, like, especially, like, me being me, like, I can go to the beach, you know, and go to the beach all day, and then go to VBS later, you know? Yeah, and I'm also going to try to crack my back because I have scoliosis, I have back pain, lower back pain, and, like, my back is, like, stiff or whatever, which is, like, causing pain in, like, my legs whenever I move. I don't know why, so I'm going to try to pop my back. So, I'm going to catch up with you guys in the morning. Everybody has time for calls, so take it up. He's saving the turtles and as much as I like dolphins. They put some in there. Well, he was taped. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know you're going on to sleep. Mm -hmm. Huh? You, you still have to pee. T R E S H E R. Mm -hmm. I got close. <laughs> <laughs> So today is Friday, um, a couple days after I had my ankle surgery. So I had my ankle surgery on Monday and today's Friday. And I <coughs> go to the doctor on Monday to have my dressing, like this, they call it like surgical dressing thingy, have it like changed and whatever. So I'm going to like tell you guys like, how Monday went. Okay, so I got to the hospital, and as you can tell, like I still have my wristband, my white wristband. So this orange one is from camp that I never took off, and they didn't cut it off or anything, thank the Lord. Yeah, so I got to the hospital, and then I was like already registered and everything, so I just went right on in, and they have like little like hospital rooms for you. And I had to, like, change into the little hospital. Well, first I had to go, like, answer, like, at first I had to answer, like, these different questions. And then I had to go pee in a cup, which was horrible because I had already went to go pee before I left my house. Not thinking that I was going to have to pee, take a urine sample thing, like, when I got there. So... I went in the bathroom and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I can't go. Like, it's, it's I, like, I can feel it there. I just can't go. So I went back to the room. My mom's like, just turn on the faucet. So I turned on the, the faucet and then I just had to like, then I went and I peed. And I was like, yes. But he's like, I only need like that, that, that much of your pee. So I was like, all right, cool. Then I had to change it to my hospital gown. And I hate those things. I don't know why they make those things because like your whole entire butt is out. <laughs> but you get to keep on your underwear. <clears throat> so then, like, she, like, came in, and she started, like, an IV going in my hand, and it hurts so, like, when I got an IV when I was eight, that was the last time I got that. 
got an IV. And so, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this thing hurts so bad. And then, because I have asthma, she gave me a breathing treatment. And then the anesthesiologist came in and, like, asked me, like, different questions or whatever. And then, it was, like, an hour later, right? And these two ladies come in and she's like, oh, I'm going to give you, like, I'm going to put some medicine in you. And whatever, I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> and, like, they take me out of the room and that was that. That's all I remember. That, they have, gave me some good medicine. So then I woke up and he's like, oh, well, like, do you, like, want juice or anything? And I guess I told the person I wanted apple juice. So they gave me, like, some apple juice and, like, brought my parents in. And I'm, like, there. It's, like, not fully there. And, like, I was upset. Well, not really upset, but I was, like, kind of sad that they gave me apple juice and gave me a plastic straw instead of a metal straw. Because I use metal straws now. We're saving the turtles out here. So I was not too very, I wasn't very happy about that. But I took my little dog with me. Um... And I'm used to being on, I'm, I've been on crutches before, so, like, I kind of already, like, kind of know how to use them, whatever. Um, yeah, I got home and didn't even go to sleep. Like, my mom and them were, like, thinking that I was going to go, like, go to sleep when I got home. But nope. Them drug stuff was still in my system, but I did not go to sleep. My mom gave me my phone and I said, can you hear my contact stuff? Put my contacts in, boop, 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 boop. And I was up. <laughs> I was up. I was tired, but I was like, oh, I don't want to go to sleep. Like, I'm just texting my friends and Snapchatting my friends and everything. And then my youth pastor and his oldest daughter, who's, I don't know how old she is. I think she's 12. I think she's 12. I think she's either 12 or 13. I honestly don't know. I'm so bad when, like, when it comes to ages. Like People ask me how old my brothers are and I'm like, I don't know how they old they are. I barely know how old I am. But they came over around like evening time and they hung out with me and we talked or whatever. It was kind of them talking to my mom though. <laughs> I was just there. And they left. And then the next day... Um, my, one of my best friends, Jalen, she came over, I can't remember if she came over on Tuesday or Wednesday. She came over on one of those days and hung out with me for a little bit, but it was kind of, it was Tuesday. Actually, I don't really remember. I, it might have been Wednesday. I don't know, but all I know is that my mom gave me my pain medicine that I don't even have to take anymore like when I tell y'all like that I'm really like not in any pain anymore like with my ankle as I was like on Tuesday and Wednesday like Tuesday like I don't I don't take the medicine which is like, a really good thing because it's only been like a couple days after my surgery but my mom gave me like, gave me my medicine and told me to like to take a nap or whatever and I'm like all right cool so I like took like a three hour nap <laughs> and my phone was ringing, and I was like, who's calling me? And I look over, and, like, I see her picture and her name. Her ba her name in my phone is Baby Daddy, and my name in her phone, my name, like, her in her phone, my name is Baby Mama. <laughs> it's really funny. So, like, I saw her name and her picture pop up, and I was like, oh, I don't want to answer it. I'm just going to text her. And so she was, like, telling me how she was, like, on my way to the house, on, on her way to my house to, like, come see me. And she was, like, thinking that I was asleep, so I texted her back, and I was like, okay, you can come over. <laughs> so, she was like, okay, I'm going to be there in a few minutes. So, she gets to my house, she goes, I'm here, what do I do? I was like, just knock on the door. So, she comes in, I was like, yeah, I was asleep, and whatever. She called me, like, three times and left me a voice message and then texted me, like, six times. And the fun, the sad thing is, y'all is I sleep with my phone by my head so I can hear it. And I couldn't, I didn't know she was calling me until the third time she called me. That was good sleep. But it's been good. The only bad thing about it is that my dad won't let me leave my house until Monday, which for me is hard because 
So yesterday was the 4th of July. And I was supposed to go over to my youth leader's house. But my dad wouldn't let me leave my house. But I was supposed to go over to their house and hang out with them, like, for most of the day. So I couldn't do that, so I was pretty annoyed. But my mom took me to my grandparents' house to get me out the house. Like, she took me there for, like, an hour. We were out the house for, like, two hours. And then it started raining. So then we got back home. And then today I'm working on poster stuff. Or VBS and I'm gonna lose my mind because our Bible verse is that for the site that I'm working with our Bible verse that we have is super long and because it's super long there's not that many letters and it's like driving me like crazy because now like I'm trying to like figure out like what to do next so I'm like okay I'm just gonna have to like I'm not drawing these letters out Honestly, I might just trace the letters. Well, I'll trace the letters on the white paper. I don't really know yet. I have to figure that out. But yeah, so I have to do those today and tomorrow. And then I'm gonna text her and be like, "Hey, um, you're gonna have to come to my house to come get these because my dad won't let me leave my house." And we start VBS on Sunday. So I'm gonna ask my dad tomorrow if I can get a church on Sunday. He probably won't let me go. But I'm going to tell him, like, hey, I'm a part of a VBS team that I kind of have to be there. <sighs> um, yeah, it's going to make me, like, go crazy. If He probably won't let me go, but it's it's going to make me go crazy. I'm going to be, like, oh, I'm going to get really annoyed and be, like, super mean. Like, the attitude in me is going to come out because it kind of came out already. <laughs> These past couple of days when, like, when you're sitting in a house and you can't leave your house... Like, I was thinking to myself that I could not go to jail because I'd probably kill somebody if I had to go to jail. Because I'm, like, dude, like, sitting and, like, looking at, like, the same things. Oh, my gosh, it's driving me crazy. And usually, like, I don't mind sitting at my house, but I cannot sit at my house for a week straight and not leave my house for a week straight. Like, can't do that. Two days, yeah. A week, week no, nah, no. It's not the move. So, um, yeah, so I'm over here drinking some Sierra Mist and some Rice Crisps. These are super good. They're really, like, healthy for you. They're really good. I love them. I have the caramel ones and then the apple cinnamon ones. But, yeah. So, I'm gonna, like, catch up with you guys on... Monday, when I go to the doctor. Pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. I got hey, some bitches yeah. in my life and they all mine. I got a pocket, got a pocket. Check the Let me tell you how I come through with the one-two, kicking shit like cum. Game bang, but I do bang bang. Turn your 